Okay. Call the case, please. Calling case 02056199901, people of the state of Michigan versus Carnell McCreary L. Today is the day time for a motion hearing. Appearances. Good morning, Your Honor. And to your staff, Christina Ritter, on behalf of the people, P number 83505. Sir. Colonel Michael McCreary, appearing in appropriate persona. Okay. All right. Um, to my understanding, sir, you filed a motion uh, to have Judge Bryant disqualified uh, from the case. Uh, Judge Bryant uh, denied your motion, and essentially your motion was appealed up to the chief judge, which is me. Is that correct, sir? That's correct. Okay. Argument. Well, the argument is, sir, uh, under uh, Michigan Code of Judicial Conduct, uh, the judge is in violation of uh, Canon 1 and 2 because um, I'm here uh, falsely accused for a 21-year-old warrant. And I try to speak, and she acts like Judge Judy. She just constantly cuts you off. It's threatening so far as be quiet, like, I mean, uh, counting two, it says public confidence in the judiciary is eroded by irresponsible and improper conduct by judges. A judge must avoid all impropriety and appearance of impropriety. A judge must expect to be the subject of constant public scrutiny. A judge must therefore accept restrictions on conduct that might be viewed as burdensome by the ordinary citizen and should be do so freely and willingly judge. And I come into court very respectful. I'm a 51-year-old man, and I respect the system. But I'm feeling that I'm being given, you know, disrespect. I'm being silenced. I mean, I have a right under the free speech to uh, petition the court for redress of grievances and things of that nature. And uh, if you look at the TV show Judge Judy, this is how she acts, Judge. And I mean, it's just totally wrong. And she asked me, what did I want to do with the case? I said, I would like to challenge jurisdiction because I went to prison in 02 for 15 years and eight months. They had uh, under the rule, it's, I believe, for misdemeanors, 40 something days for felonies is six months. So I uh, request that the prosecutor prove his authority in bringing these charges so late. And I have been home six and a half years, productive in the community, no problems. And I'm trying to do right, Judge. You know, I made uh, uh, past mistakes when I was a young man, and I'm just being treated like I'm just a criminal. I'm supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, right? So I'm not trying to disrupt this court. I'm not trying to cause you guys uh, hard, hard, hardships or anything, uh, things of that nature. And my due process is being violated. Judge. That's all. I want to just get this case so it wouldn't be left alone. But I'm a grandfather. I have children. And their uh, DPD has retaliated against me, Judge. And I know this is a Detroit police court, and I would like an investigation as to things that's been going on by the prosecutor's office, because Kim Worthy and her uh, subordinates are retaliating against me. There's actual proof. Uh, at this point, uh, I'm, I don't know if you're familiar with Bill Proctor. He's uh, representing me in this matter and another matter so far as investigations for uh, years of, you know, hardships and, 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 tyranny committed against me by the system here in Wayne County. So this is all I want a fair shake judge, a judge who's going to uh, give me due process and give me what I'm accord, you know, entitled to according to law. And that's it, sir. Okay. Ms. Ritter, would you like to respond in any way? Um, judge, the only response that people have is that this is a case from 2002. It's a misdemeanor assault and battery case. Judge, from my recollection of the prior hearing with Judge Bryant, um, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that it was an arraignment process. Um, and as the court was trying to proceed with the process, um, I do remember Mr. McCreary um, interrupting the judge while she was trying to make the record. But the people have not gotten to the point where, um, because Mr. Carnell was disrupted during the proceedings, the people didn't get to the point where there was another um, pretrial date set where the people could actually see if we were able, were able to move forward on this 2002 case judge. Okay. I have a rebuttal. Yes. Okay, Judge. Um, I would like you, if it's possible. I know you guys are on Zoom, so you have should have access to recordings of these uh, hearings and things of that nature. I believe that the uh, prosecutor just fabricated facts to you because I was not rude to this lady. 
I asked, all I asked her is like, she said, what do you want to be done with this case? I said, I would like to challenge jurisdiction. And Michigan and federal law requires once jurisdiction is challenged, it must be proven. How is it that the prosecutor knows statute of limitations? They're licensed. I'm not licensed. I've studied for years in prison. And they don't know that there's a statute of limitations. This is vindictive prosecution because of my complaints against Kim Worthy, right? And the record will reflect the evidence. And I object to her statements. Okay, one one second, uh, one one second, sir. I, I I have to shut off my video for ten seconds and be right back. I'm having a little technical difficulty right now. So yes. Hmm. All right, all right. Court court having uh, had a chance to hear the arguments of of the uh, the moving party as well as the um, the arguments of the prosecutor. Um, the, excuse me, the moving party is asking for a, a recusal or to have uh, Judge Bryant disqualified based on uh, Michigan canons one and two, uh, based on um, that she is biased as well as is not allowing a person uh, to be able to basically argue their case. Uh, the moving party is stating that he, he wants to challenge jurisdiction um, and that he was not allowed to do so. The prosecutor is stating that there was only a proceeding at an arraignment and that the prosecution hasn't even got to the point where they have established whether they want to move forward with the case, but that was not allowed to happen because uh, in, in their view, um, there was um, disruption in the court and there, there, was, there was a breakdown. Um, the uh, moving party is disputing that. He's saying that you can even go that I could go to the video or the tapes to 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 dispute that. Um, at this time, the court is going to um, the court is not going to make a decision at this point. I am going to uh, I am going to pull the tape, uh, pull the transcript. I'm going to make a decision very quickly on this. I'm not going to I'm not going to let this um, continue. And even based on, you know, the court does have an opinion, probably on the likelihood of prosecution one on a 21 year old case. Uh, so we're going to come back on, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to come back on July 6th at 10 a.m. Please check your schedule, sir. Uh, may I also, you say July 6th, sir? Yeah. Okay. Yes. May Next I time. also, if I may, check, just... no, check, check, check your schedule first. Check your schedule to see if are you available for that time. I'm available. I'm stuck here on tether, sir. I'm available at any time you guys want me to. Okay. All right. Well, ten, put it on your schedule for 10 o'clock on July 6th. Okay. Can I say one more thing? Uh, if you look at Crampton versus uh, Michigan Department of State 395, Michigan 347 at 351, it says the United States Supreme Court disqualified judges and decision makers without a showing of actual bias in situations where experience teaches that the probability of actual bias on the part of the judge or decision maker is too high to be constitutionally tolerable. And I'm not saying like trying to attack Judge Bryan or whatever else, but she has an attitude like Judge Judy. She just cuts you off and I'm just like, so when she kept doing it, this is when I objected and asked her to uh, recuse herself, sir. I, but I won't. Good. And and, yes, and and sir, I and, and again, as as the chief judge, I don't have to I don't have to have a showing of actual bias, but perceived bias, something in the fairness of justice. I that that is my standard. So, with that being sure. said, uh, ten a.m. on July sixth. This is I'm I'm just gonna rent. Hey,